Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Legal Tender. I'm back in the building, back in the vault. Pulled out a special item, and that special item is my reference source. So I pulled that out to make a new video, just so that I could share with you what I use to um, get my knowledge, to get a portion of my knowledge about uh, Newsmatics. So if you're a fan of Newsmatics, if you're a fan of paper currency, if you're just getting into the hobby, stay rocking with me, stay rocking with the channel. Every Tuesday is Legal Tender Tuesday. I will be making a new episode every week speaking about something new, different, or interesting within the realm of Newsmatics. If you have any questions, comments, or input, put it down in the comment section. I read everything and I respond back as soon as possible. If throughout the video you hear something that's different from what you know, or it may be incorrect, let me know via the comments. I'll go back, do my research, and make sure I got the right information moving forward. All right, so with that being said, let's get into today's episode. All right, so today's episode is going to be a little different because I won't really be speaking about um, currency. I will be speaking about what I reference to speak accurately about currency. So this is my um, my cited source. So this is the book that I reference on a regular basis just to make sure I got the right information about currency. And um, it's a really good book. I was looking at a fellow creator and he had this book as a reference point. I was just like, okay, this is a pretty cool book. So I went and checked that out and um, super dope book, man. It's, it's, it's a really good book. So it's a good uh, reference. So all right, looking at it, it is the, the title is Paper Money of the United States. Money of the United States. A complete illustrated guide with valuations. The standard reference work on paper money from colonial times to present. All right, so this book pretty much it speaks about the the origin and just like the complete history of paper currency of all denominations and currency types. So it's a really good reference um, source. Um, as we can see, it is the 22nd edition within the series. So this is the most recent one published. And it, it speaks about all this right here. Uh, throughout this book, large size notes, fractional currency, colonial, small size, uh, postage stamps, postal notes, and got some size on it too. Um, I'm hearing about these guys right here a lot. Um, Arthur L. and Ira S. Friedberg. And I've heard some what, if I'm wrong, please correct me, but I think we got the grading, the grading system for currency notes came in the play off of the Freebird system, I want to say. But like I say, if I'm incorrect, please fill me in and let me know. Um, the best thing about this book is that besides it, it covers everything about currency, it's colorized. So it shows you what the notes need to look like and it's a good um it's a good reference comparing your notes to the to the notes that you find in here the um images because some of these notes you won't even find anymore like not even on websites uh collectors anything like that so as of late I've been looking at this some else that's cool too. So the sections are colorized. So the blue is speaking about silver certificates. The red about legal tender notes. And it just goes on like that throughout the entirety of the book. Small size for Federal Reserve notes, fractional currency, national bank notes. So super, 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 super dope book. Um, I got mine off of Amazon for under 50 bucks. 
and some of the stuff you can find in here so like i said i've been looking up uh silver certificates I've got an episode planned and what you could get from it is like it has everything in it it has the It has the series year, it has the suffix, it has the the signatures of the Secretary of Treasurer and the Treasurer the Secretary of Treasury and the Treasurer. It has the zoom out. If you could see I gonna say I need a camera team. Hold on one second. So, like I said, it has the series here, right here, the signatures of both individuals. Um, it shows how many notes were printed right here. And then it has the value of the note once it's graded. So, getting a very good, <coughs> excuse me, uh, if you had a note that was graded at an 8, it would be worth $25. Um, a fine, it would be worth $30. And it goes all the way through. And it does that for every note, um, every currency type. The thing that I like about it, because it shows, it shows the number of notes that were printed. And it shows, it depending on the series, it breaks it down by Federal Reserve District. So for a series, let me see, what is this? So with this being a small size Federal Reserve note, small size Federal Reserve note, okay, a series 1981A in Boston, what's that, 54,400,000 notes was printed, and to get one, that is a uh, EOF. 40 that's the category going all the way up to the top is worth 15 bucks uh, again one that is choice 63 it'll be worth 45 bucks and it this is for the the five dollar note let's see what else I can pull up yeah see I like how it transitions from uh, this note up here, which is a what we have a 1928. It's a 1928 note. Then it has all the not the schematics. It has all of the um, information, like the Federal Reserve District, the numbers printed, and the overall value of the notes right here. And then, like I said, it's broken down with the districts. That's the part that I like. And once that series is complete or transition to another series, it moves down to the other note. And this is a 1928B. This was 1928, 1928A, 1928B. Because it was different um, mintage, uh, printage for each currency type. And just overall, like a very cool book. I like it. And to today's modern big face notes. Older notes. What we got? This is a national bank note. So. Really, really cool book. Um, I like it. Uh, like I say, I reference this book just about on a daily basis. And yeah, it's a lot of good pertinent information on it. Star notes, mules. Yeah, like I said, this is just only like one source that I, I use, but I definitely use this one more often than not. And very, very frequently. All right, so that's all we got for this video.
again just want to speak about something different within the realm of newsmatics and um let you know where i get my information from all right so paper money this is my source um put down in the comments what do you reference all right that's all we got for this one until next time keep it legal keep it tender talk to you soon